and welcome to my channel thank you so 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 very much for watching this video this is my first youtube video ever and i am so excited i'm so happy so just to give you guys a brief introduction about what this channel is going to be about it's going to be about me giving you guys some makeup tips and tricks and you know talking about skincare talking about product reviews and doing crazy makeover you guys are going to be the best audience ever and you're going to hit the like button and the subscribe button and post lovely comments so today i'm going to show you guys how to get this glam look perfect for a date night birthdays i i could even you know wear it to movie so i just want to be glam while watching my movie just so if you guys want to know how I got this look then keep watching. I'm gonna start with a moisturizer and for that I'm using this Pond's Gold Radiance uh, Day Crib. Okay so now that I'm done with my moisturizer I'm going ahead with my primer and for priming I'm using this uh, Color Bar Perfect Match Primer. You should always prime your skin before you apply any kind of makeup. You need that barrier between your skin and makeup. And you wanna cover those pores. Okay, so next step, I'm not going in directly with my foundation. I am going to uh, fill in my brows and then do my eyeshadow and then do my foundation because it's easier that way. Is in case if you have any fallout, uh, you know you can just cover it up with the foundation rather than just doing the patchwork later. For brows today, I'm using this uh, Maybelline Drop Nudes patch. I'm using the same brush that it came with. I'm this shade right here to fill in my brows. A quick tip, never start filling your brows from here, uh, always leave like a finger space, like one finger space. After life. I'm done with my brows, I'm not completely completely done with my brows, I will be filling in, I will be concealing the upper part and the lower part of my brows later once I'm done with my shadow. To start off with my shadow, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the shade Light to Fair to kind of create a base for my shadow so my shadow today I'm using big I don't know what I was thinking I just get attracted to colors you know this shit has a lot of colors my shadow I'm going in with a transition color this orangish uh, reddish orange kind of fish Sweeping this color, this dark brown right here, and just working that crease, create that depth. I'm taking this shade. This is like a grayish brown. I'm just making it an outer V. Good things take time. Did you even notice? I'll be the first to make you feel alright. love on Now I'm taking this black. Just, just to create that drama around my eyes, so I'm just again with the same brush. We feather it out because I can see some harsh lines, so I'm just gonna keep blending. Taking this brush by Color Bar, and I use this to uh, you know kind of line my lower lashes, the uh, lower lash area. So I'm going in again with the same colors that I used on the top on my eyelids uh, to uh, just you know kind of create a shadow under my eyelids. So I'm taking this transition shade that I took earlier. Instead, I'm, I'll just go ahead and take this brown. 
this dark brown and going closer to my lash line, lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead use this uh, Shimmer Brick Radiant by Revolution and it is a highlighter brick. It has a lot of shades and I really love this highlighter brick so I'm just gonna go ahead use my fingers and take this I don't know if you guys can see this shade right here. It's a really nice goldenish kind of a shimmer and I'm just gonna apply it from the inner corners of my uh, eyes to this part right here where I can see the dark shadow. Okay, now I'm using this Lacme Liquid Precision Liner to create a nice wing. Okay, next up, I'm using this uh, mascara by Maybelline Last Sensation. This mascara is like. I'm using these lashes by Euro Paris. These lashes are extremely extremely beautiful uh, these are in the number 58 actually really nice for people who are just starting out with lashes I for example I started off uh, using these lashes and these lashes look really nice and natural they're not heavy on your eyes but uh, the only problem is that it's a very thin band so uh, you know you can just use it like three to four times and then buy another one but these are really affordable so go ahead buy the Euro Paris lashes Okay, next up, I'm using uh, my foundation by L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade Radiant Beige. This is the number 150. Hey, I'm loving those little circles on my face. Oil Too Much Concealer that I used earlier. Now that I'm done with my concealing and my foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, Pro Artist HD Pro Concealer Palette and I'm just gonna use the darkish and on my cheekbones. Since I do not have a nice sculpted jaw, I'm gonna make it look like I have a nice sculpted jaw. This uh, translucent powder by Miss Claire. Next up, I'm using this blush by uh, Chambord. It is in the shade Candy Rose. A little bit of that glitter here to make my eyes pop. The same color bra. So I'm taking the same color bar brush and I'm taking this pearly white shimmer right here and I'm just tapping it onto the inner corners of my eye near the uh, tear duct. Just taking it a little bit 
Alright, so I almost forgot concealing my brows, so I'm taking the same concealer, uh, the L'Oreal Conceal, kind of highlight my brows. In fact, conceal my brows. Line my lips using this uh, Pro Art Natural Mauve. For lips today, I'm using this NYX uh, lipstick, the shade Abu Dhabi, and I kind of abuse this lipstick. And so my favorite step of the entire makeup look is highlighting, of course. So I'm using the same shimmer brick, and I'm using this two shade. So this is the final look. So if you guys enjoyed this look and if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to thumbs it up and do not forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Also, I will be posting a new video every Monday and every Friday. So do not forget to hit on that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of my videos. Also, if you guys have any suggestions, any comments or anything that you'd like to say to me, please feel free to post it down in the comments. We're hoping those will be good comments and not rude or mean comments. Oh, and if you have any makeup look or any product review that you'd like me to do, I would be more than happy to do it for you guys. That's it from my side, guys. I will see you this Friday. Thank you so much. Bye.